Hey, dear Tyler, good morning. How are you? Um, I hope you're good. I hope you're fine. I hope your week has been awesome. It's been good. Um, I hope you've really been enjoying yourself. I I had a good week, mm, weekend prior to this time. Um, so let me just give you a little um, cap up. Something that really got to me. It was really inspiring. So on Friday, um, I had this um, video at um, somewhere in Abuja here. So I was invited by a ministry. Now the name of the ministry is Men of Authority. And the founder um, of the ministry, her name is Joy Ewell. Now, I think one thing that blows my mind is the fact that there is a lady that is so passionate about the boy child or men in general. Um, and her her passion for it is is quite compelling how she's so motivated about building men and, um, you know, raising godly characters. Um, Like, I don't know, I was just so overwhelmed. Um, From the organization to the vision plan to how they strategized and how she was able to, you know, lead teams. It was just amazing. I really, really had fun. Um, though I couldn't make it for all the sessions and all, but it was so, so, so amazing. Super amazing. And I would like you guys to, you know, um, check it out. Um, I would I would try my best to get details from her so that um, probably the next episode or so, um, all of their social media handles, um, you guys could get it. And be of great support to her. It's it's amazing. They just had their first um, convention, men's convention, and it was really, really wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Um, and you know, to think about it, you know, just thinking about the fact that she's a final year student in the university, and I, I'm surprised at the pulling power that she has. But it's. It's, it's amazing. So this is a shout out to Joy. You are an amazing individual. Keep doing what you're doing. It's, you know, it may seem small, right? Every great thing starts small. Um, but you're making a whole lot of impact. A whole lot of impact. And what you did, uh, you and your team did within the... Um, during last week or last week... Um, during the weekend rather it left a major impression on me and um, I'm really praying that God just grant you guys the grace to to really really um, impact people's lives especially the boy child and men in general so God bless you I'll definitely like I said I'll definitely share um, the handles either on my own social media handles or in the next episode of Dear Tyler that's a promise right so it was fun i met some other people i'll I'll definitely talk about them some other time but it was it was nice um it was really really good so god bless you joy and yes so dear tyler made it to uh as part of their sponsors it was so nice seeing the dear tyler logo on their backdrop it was so nice and so thank you so much joy for um for the honor of representation there thank you so much um god bless you all right so last week we um we got to hear from sheila and sheila's story is so beautiful i ah i i I really really enjoyed sheila's story and i know that you too also um got really blessed by it and um, this is just me again saying that at the end of every month, I'll be sharing stories from um, from anyone that really has a story to share. Anyone right, that has a story to share. So Tyler, if you have a story to share, you know, you could just hit, 
you could just write you know share the story um via my email or via the email um dear tyler at gmail.com dear tyler at gmail.com so that's d-e-a-r t-y-l-a at gmail.com and remember the whole story to be kept anonymous um but yeah i would really love to hear from you so you could share your stories and um the lessons that you want people to learn from me right so i know initially i wanted to um address something that sheila said um or rather something that happened in sheila's story but then i'm going to leave that to next week i'm going to leave that to next week so today briefly and i really think this would be brief compared to other ones so briefly we're going to um get into today's discussion and it's them titled my superhero my superhero um i remember when we were growing up uh, way back then uh, my family and my family or my family and i yeah we were we were in holland and um that's where i got like you know started knowing stuff about superheroes the whole marvel characters the whole dc characters superman batman spider-man and also i think um we we had just finished like watching a with a cartoon or a superhero movie or something so you know that whole pumped up factor you know you just somehow inside you just feel like you're a superhero and all um so i think my mom had just finished doing the laundry and she wanted me to you know go and peg um rather go and dry the the clothing outside so we were living in like an apartment story building apartment where on the third floor if i'm not mistaken but on the third floor so while i was going to you know okay i I'd finished drying the clothes i was outside with my brothers and as i was just leaving um the youngest of my brothers was like um he called out to me and was like i should see my other brother so as i turned and also my brother had climbed the ledge of the balcony and was about to jump and then i quickly just pulled him back and he was crying he was i think shaking and all i think it dawned on him that what he saw on tv wasn't actually in quote very feasible i know so i think he had that near death experience this guy oh my god it's like i'm really going to fall how how it just happened ah it would have been a very very terrible um occurrence uh, but so anyway that's a hilarious stroke scary story all right but you know that feeling um that we, you get when you see like a superhero probably maybe guys or people that are more into like action movies would would tend to relate to this but there's just this aura about a superhero you know the person steps in and is able to like you know save the day there's this level of confidence um that having that person around um gives to individuals right so there's this sense of hope so if you watch like superhero movies like one of my favorite superhero movies of all time is man of steel it's um it's a superman story i love the movie i could watch it over and over and over again i'm also a fan of spider-man but like man of steel is my favorite now when all hope seems lost you know the bad guys have finished damaging and scattering the whole world right um and then like all hope is lost there's just this you know change of atmosphere once that superhero just comes in it's like yes things are going to be fine things are going to be okay um 
we have somebody that can match up to the enemy and you know all of those things um i think deep within our subconscious there is this superhero figure that we all have we have this person that we believe that once the person steps in to our life that things are going to change um that things will get better for some of us our superhero could be our dad our mom our parents we just know that when everything when everything just goes wrong and sour we could once they step into our situation things change for some of us it may be a friend so like there's this one person that you could call whenever you're in trouble you know you could call on that person and everything will change you get maybe the situation may not change but then at least there's a glimmer of hope it could be a colleague do you understand it could be a spiritual leader of some sort but then usually um in our subconscious and even in our day-to-day living there's this either this one person or a group of people that serve as heroes for us serve as heroes for us and that's a very comforting thing it's very important that yes that you have people around you that could be that pillar of support that could be that pillar of help for you it's extremely extremely important one of the most terrible things to happen to anybody in this life right is to live and to walk this world alone to live and to walk this world alone to live and to work this world alone it's extremely extremely terrible that you turn around and you find out that there's nobody that can be of help to you that there's nobody that can give you a shoulder to lean on there's nobody that could you know stretch out a helping hand and pull you up you know there's nobody that could like bear burdens together with you it's extremely extremely terrible um many times if you see it it happens a lot in like in africa um especially here in nigeria there are these um kids these young boys that are usually left to fend for themselves there's this um there's something i'd noticed over time when you see them in groups they could be all moody and all i mean you could see that they're all like dirty unkept but there's this motivating <laughs> there's this motivation that they do have when they're together right they could be happy you know jovial and then when they just see somebody they just you know reach out to the person and you know just to plead and beg maybe for like a little money or food but then have you seen when it's just one there's this expression of dismay you know like hopelessness that individual it's, it's like the person is so so broken from the from their countenance you could just see the whole dullness and all so same situation but because you're doing it alone the effects are a lot worse the effects are a lot worse right so like i said it's important that we all have these figures in our lives that we can build um some form of hope from but then this is um the harsh truth everybody needs a hero the person that you consider your hero also needs saving they also need a hero another harsh truth is that every hero has his or her weakness for superman it's kryptonite for martian manhunter it's fire again 
every superhero has his or her weakness. Now let's bring it to reality. The weakness of our superheroes, those that we look up to, is that they are, first of all, human. Human, that means they are liable to be unavailable, liable to be angry, liable to not want to help, liable to disappointment, liable to that feeling of hopelessness also. The very emotions that we feel, they feel. The very emotions that we feel, they also feel. It's it's one of the harsh truths that we need to come to terms with because there are many times we, um, when we enter into trouble we, we naturally just try to gravitate towards those people and the moment we do not get a response from them we feel extremely betrayed extremely betrayed now in the bible um there was a story it should be in either 2nd Samuel or 1st Kings. I think it should be 2nd Samuel. After um, David had come back, I think, from the fight with the Philistines and all, or so. But he, he and his um, soldiers, him and his men, um, he and his men, rather, sorry, he and his men went back to their community and they found out that they had pillaged the whole place they had taken their um women and children their wives and children they've taken everything and then the men almost turned on david right and david went back to the lord um you know and you know in he was really really let down these are men that had promised to be with him promised to you know stake their lives for him and all of a sudden they had turned their backs on him and one part of the scripture that really got to me is and david encouraged himself in the lord now david encouraged himself himself he motivated um, himself right he became his own hero He had to dig deep and um, draw out from his will, draw out from courage. Do you understand? And say, okay, that I'm going to be my savior, in quote. I'm not going to wait for anybody to give me, you know, that pep talk or to get me out of this situation. No, I'm going to apply myself to this situation and I'm going to get out of it. He encouraged himself. He became his own hero. He became his own hero. We have to get to the point that we are in charge of our lives. Right? Now, I'm not saying that do not um, be open for help. Do not be open for um, assistance of other people no but then we have to get to the point where we can stand up um ourselves and say um, hey i can do this i can do this there is this ability in me there is this capacity in me to do well there's this capacity in me to um come out of this situation to come out of this situation to get things done and to get them done rightly that whatever I'm facing is not bigger than me, it's not stronger than me. If I can stand up with courage, I can overcome this. Because a lot of people will not be around in our lives at certain times, and it's not their fault. A lot of times we end up playing the blame game. Do you understand? Ah, if this person was here, if this person did this, if this person was this, if this person was here, if this person um, had, you know, called or the person had come, all of this wouldn't have happened. No, we have to get to the point that we are in charge. We are in charge. We are our own heroes. So when trouble comes, when situations begin to pile up, when um, we are faced with various challenges, right? We have to tell ourselves that, no, um, me, Tyler, I'm going to get through this. I am going to overcome this. 
I am going to overcome this. In fact, you see, even superheroes, right, get assistance from others, right? They get assistance from others, but they first have to, they first have to um, get themselves out of the situation first. I don't know, it's like, that's like a tautology, sorry (laughs) for all of it. But what I'm saying is this, Tyler, it's time to make a superhero out of yourself. Let it not be that you're always, um, or we are always, you know, looking for the next quick help, you know, scenario. No. We have to get to the point where we become our own superheroes. Now, the beauty about getting to this point and overcoming a lot of these hurdles is that you have built capacity to be able to help others. To be able to help others. There's something that my um, the spiritual um, father says. Um, he says, in as much as you require destiny helpers, right? Make sure that you pray to be a destiny helper yourself. Make sure you pray that you yourself are a destiny helper. So it's like God is saying, um, I'm willing to bring people into your life to build you. But most importantly, I want you to be a hope to other people. A hope to other people. I hope to other people. Um, there's a scripture. Second, wow. <laughs> See me. This thing is going to be short. Anyway, this is the last thought that I gave in. So there's a scripture in the Bible. Um, Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. And I'm going to paraphrase it. Um, it says that we give thanks to God for um, all the situations you get that we have gone through. Right? And how he has comforted comforted us in those situations so that um, so that we would be able to comfort others who have gone through the same thing. Whenever you overcome anything in this life, you literally gain the ability to help others overcome it too. When you champion a specific era in life your breakthrough serves as an open door for other people your breakthrough serves as an open door for other people your own breakthrough serves as an open door for other people so Tyler it's time for us to contend right contend for your life Yes, you may be fighting depression, right? Don't expect anyone to come up and pull you out of it. You rise up, Tyler. Pull yourself out of it. Rise up, Tyler. Pull yourself out of it. You may be struggling with financial difficulty. Don't expect anybody to come over and send you, you know, some super amount of cash. Be hopeful. God can bless you at any time. But then you stand up, Tyler, rise out of it, rise out of it, fight it. You may be struggling with a child. You may be struggling with um, schoolwork. Do you understand? Um, Rise up, Tyler, encourage yourself. Be your own hero. Be your own hero. Apply yourself into overcoming those things. Apply yourself into overcoming these things, Tyler. Be your own superhero. Be your own superhero. So I hope that these um, few thoughts, I think I spoke about quite a lot, you know, the fact that we need help from people, but then also that it's most, it's more important or the most important thing rather is that we um, build capacity to carry ourselves that we build capacity to carry ourselves to, right? So it's like two sides of a coin. You can't live life alone. 
but make sure you build capacity to carry yourself build capacity to carry yourself right so thank you so much tyler um it's always a pleasure always a pleasure talking to you so I, I'm, I'm going to get back to you on um the men of authority handle and how see how you can support it and all right and so please don't forget to follow us on our social uh, media handles don't forget to follow us on our social media handles um, at uh, dear Tyler, dear underscore Tyler. That's Instagram, dear underscore Tyler on Instagram, and then Facebook um, is dear Tyler, right? Dear Tyler. So um, please, and also do well to share um, these podcasts with with others. I'm sure it would be a major, major blessing to them. Right. I'm still expecting your stories. Um, remember, send it to the mail, dear Tyler at gmail.com. Really expecting your stories and um, all of your comments and your feedback, right? So thank you, Tyler. Remember, I love you and I'm always rooting for you.